Hello and welcome to the Quarantined Wargamer, I'm Big Lee and today I want to talk about how we can make more of our time while we're painting. So, do you paint in silence or do you have the radio on or listen to podcasts or chat to friends while you're painting? Um, I was interested in this because I suddenly realised that I don't just paint. I'm normally doing more than one thing at a time. Um, but in conversation with friends, it's clear that sometimes that's all they do. They have nothing else on in the background. And I think it's a bit of a waste of um, a potential opportunity there. Um, is, is it even helpful to have stuff on in the background? It largely depends on how you're made up and whether you're able to concentrate on what you're working on while you're listening to someone else. Um, that would be an individual choice. Um, but it will also depend on the setup of your painting. So if you're sat in the living room, for instance, you're not going to be able to listen to um, listen to the radio or something like that because other people are using that space. But if you've got your own room or shed down the end of the garden, whatever it might be, you've got a lot more freedom to be able to, to have stuff on in the background. I personally find... Um, wearing headphones for a long period of time is quite uncomfortable so uh, I used to sit in the living room um, do my painting at one end of the living room with a pair of headphones on but it was quite uncomfortable and I couldn't do that for more than sort of like an hour at a time um, whereas obviously in my new setup in my uh, operations room I can have the music playing through speakers as long as I like and I can quite happily sit and do a two or three hour painting session and listen to stuff at the same time um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and just talk briefly about the different types of things you can do while you're painting. So the obvious choice is something like a podcast. <coughs> Excuse me. It's an excellent way to keep yourself occupied while you're painting. Um, and it's also, I find, it's quite a good way of keeping up to, t up to date and in touch with what's going on in the hobby. Um, it certainly reduces the monotony of painting monotonous stuff. So when I'm doing six mil models, for instance, I'll routinely be painting 100 or 200 very similar figures at the same time. Um, and it's just, you know, I'm going to do all the faces, and I'm going to do all the spears, and, and it, it can be monotonous. You know, as much as, as therapeutic as painting can be, there are sections of, of some jobs that we need to do that are quite monotonous. And I actually find it's quite good to have something else on in the background. I can quite happily listen to that, and I can zone out and get a, a lot of painting done, get through those big monotonous jobs that maybe I wasn't looking forward to doing. Um, while keeping myself occupied and finding out about what's going on in the hobby. Um, I, I actually find it quite relaxing to zone out like that. Um, now I routinely use um, a, a Google Podcasts for instance. You may find another platform that has loads of different types of podcasts available to choose from and, and I'll, I have three or four uh, particular programs that I like to listen to. Um, uh, the, the guys at Lard Island brilliant always makes me laugh um henry hyde's podcasts are really good they're always very informative very interesting wide range of guests but there's loads of podcasts on a wide range of subjects but also on google podcasts you've got things like um uh radio shows so i often routinely right and this is a sorry admission here i routinely listen to uh radio 4 history programs um, podcasts um, and they're very interesting and again you can pick and choose the, the particular episodes that you're interested in and I find that's quite a good way listen to something that is um, uh, relevant to what you're painting um, they certainly fill a gap that's left by um, sometimes the hobby magazines don't always quite hit the spot um, sometimes they'll be writing about subjects or areas that I'm not interested in and to be honest as I'm getting older I'm finding it harder and harder to find the time to sit down and read a book cover to cover or a magazine cover to cover so I often find that I, I buy all the main hobby magazines and I'll dip in and out and actually I probably read about 50% and, and I spend probably as much time reading the adverts and the little small articles as I do the larger pieces um, so podcasts help fill that gap they keep me up to date with what's going on what new products are out there what new games are sort of causing a stir in the community um, so podcasts are a really good way of filling that gap if you're not quite into the hobby magazines we don't we can't afford to buy them for instance um, so certainly podcasts are a very good way of keeping yourself occupied while you're painting
Now another quite obvious one is to listen to music. Again, quite happily listen to music for hours on end and I can sort of disappear away into it and it's quite a zen experience doing some painting with music playing in the background. And I'll often try and find something that's period specific. So it'll either be piece of military music that fits the period I'm painting or uh, movie soundtracks are great ones because the, you know you, you, you replay the film in your head while you're painting. Um, uh, marching bands and military choirs are really good and there's lots of stuff available. In fact actually there's a little bit of a confession here. My wife caught me listening to a French military choir singing music from uh, the Napoleonic period and uh, I was quite happily bumping along to it while it had been painting and she walked past the open door, took one look at me, tutted, sighed devilly and walked off. <laughs> so um, be careful you do it in a public place. So as previously mentioned, I'll often listen to film soundtracks, movie soundtracks, but some people find that they can sit and watch a film while they're doing so painting. And personally, I, I just would find that far too distracting. Um, I'd end up watching the film and not doing the painting. Um, but if you're able to do that, then that's a great way of doing it. You can watch streaming services on your phone or a tablet so they fit on your paint table and you can sit there and watch that. Um, I suppose you could just sort of sit and listen to the, the track. If you've seen the film plenty of times, you'd probably be able to replay it all in your head while the, 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 all the soundtrack's going on. Um, and you can also use things like uh, YouTube or Vimo or other uh, video streaming programs um, so that you can watch stuff while you're doing your painting. I say I, I actually find a, a screen too distracting, but other people can manage with it. Um, and you know, if you're into that sort of thing, there's also uh, uh, sites like Twitch, for instance, that let you watch other people play games. Bit of a bizarre thing for me, but you know, each to their own. Um, particularly if you're into video games so people often stream live stream them playing video games which I say I personally think that's rather weird but you know each to their own um, and there's lots of other sites that do similar things video streaming and game game sites specifically um, so there's plenty of material available and of course in this day and age where every phone is effectively a computer you can sit and put a little screen up on your desk while you're getting your painting done um, so that's another way of keeping yourself doubly occupied while you're doing your painting. Now another thing to do while you're doing your painting, and it's something that's been around for a long time, but I have to admit I've not really explored it until recently, are painting chat sessions. Now once upon a time you'd have to go round a friend's house, um, take your paints with you, and you could all sit round there uh, having a chat while you'd go on with your painting. Um, in, in more recent years you had things like Google Hang Hangouts that have enabled people to get together online while they're doing their painting. Um, uh, I've tried that, I didn't particularly get on with it, um, but it, you know, like everyone and their dog recently I've discovered Zoom and found that it's got so many uses and uh, Posters Rejects for instance, we've been using Zoom to have a regularly, regular weekly paint and chat session and that's been very interesting, very productive been really nice to be able to keep in touch with the guys when we can't physically see each other um, and we'll, we'll sit and chat about all sorts of things you know uh, what we're painting what games we want to play um, moaning about the, uh, the lockdown and how bored we are or, or how overworked we are depending on our set of circumstances um, uh, and so it, that's been really quite a, a, a good way not only keeping touch but getting some painting done at the same time and of course we're all showing each showing each other what we've painted and uh, there's a little bit of a friendly competition going on there as well. Um, so in some respects the last few months have been the most productive I've ever been because I'm, I'm keeping in touch with the guys, um, we're talking about all sorts of things and I'm getting painting done at the same time. There's a little bit of peer pressure there, makes you want to, you know, um, Monday night, oh can I be bothered and yeah, yes I've got, I've got the paint chat session and the next thing you know you've had a two or three hour painting session and you've got load done. So I find they're an excellent way of uh, keeping yourself occupied while you're putting your paint on your metal models or plastic models. Um, and of course at this particular time it's breaking that social isolation, it's keeping us in touch with one another even though we can't see each other. And I hope that these sessions will last way beyond the, the coronavirus crisis. Um, obviously 
various countries are coming out of lockdown of one kind or another. We won't get into whether there might be a second set of lockdown later in the year, but for now, things are slowly returning to some semblance of normality, but I hope that these pain chat sessions will last long after this, because actually I found them to be a, a great way of spending a Monday evening. Um, I've never been one to spend a whole evening sat watching the TV, that drive me crackers um, so I'd always end up coming up here this way it makes me focused I get on with some painting on a Monday evening now obviously if you're into podcasts or chatting with friends then there's no reason why you couldn't listen to for instance an audio book while you was doing your painting now audio books have been around for years I remember going to the library and borrowing tapes uh, when I was uh, a wee lad um, but now, of course, it's all streamed, it's all online. And there's uh, excellent organ companies. Um, I, for instance, have tried out Audible. There are others that do uh, online books that you can uh, over a wide range of subjects. They often do history subjects. Um, you usually pay a subscription fee and then so much per book. Um, you might get one, one or two downloads per month as part of your subscription fee. Um, if you enjoy that sort of thing, you can get many, many hours out of a, a book without having to sit down and read. And I actually find that quite difficult nowadays, getting the peace and quiet to sit and just read. I have to, you know what the problem with me is, I'm getting to that age now where I get through halfway through the first chapter and I fall asleep. Um, whereas I can get on with some painting and listen to an audio book. So I've been trying a few of those recently and that's worked out quite well. Um, although to be honest, I don't have a lot of time because I'm listening to lots of podcasts. So uh, either way, I'm listening, I'm doing something else while I do my painting. Um, uh, and, and I'll definitely give things like audiobooks and Audible, for instance, a, a tentative thumbs up. I've not used it a hell of a lot, but so far it's been very good. So that's just a small number of options. There's plenty of other things you could probably be doing while you're getting on with your painting. You certainly don't have to sit in silence while you do it. Um, I very, very doubt very much if any of you ever did, but there's some other possibilities there that maybe you haven't had to think about. Um, so whether it's listening to podcasts, listening to audiobooks, watching films... Um, uh, chatting to friends um, there's certainly no reason why you can't be more productive why you can't paint and get on with something else at the same time um, and I find it's a really good um, way of doubling the productivity of that hour or two I mean it all depends on how much time you get I mean some people might not have a lot of time maybe half an hour an hour once or twice a week you know because they've got busy lives and I totally get that so you want to make sure that that time is used to the absolute maximum so don't just sit there and paint, do something else at the same time. Um, so anyway, I, I hope you've enjoyed this video as, as usual and, and obviously I'd, I'd love to hear from you. you know, have you got any other good suggestions? Do you think I'm on the right track? Um, please leave your comments um, below as usual um, or over on my blog, Big Lee's Miniature Adventures. Um, so that just leaves me to say I, I hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope you're all staying safe. Um, and, and navigating the, the changes to the lockdown wherever it is you live um, and uh, obviously I look forward to seeing you next week um, where I'm going to discuss swearing in games. Anyway, look after yourselves and stay rolling high.